so this is going to be my TBR shelf tour and this is in like the weirdest spot in my apartment so it's probably gonna get dark at points but I'll try my hardest and I'm not gonna show the covers just because there's so many and this is in my kitchen so I have this bookshelf and this bookshelf and this one at the very top has food stuff the bottom has kitchen stuff and then kitchen and food half food and half books and then books so and I did decide to try and do like a rainbow thing so it goes um red orange yellow green blue purpley stuff and then pink white and then this is where it gets kind of weird I have like beigey brown gray black <laughs> I don't know so let's get and it's probably gonna be really shadowy. So I have <clears throat> The Joy of Hate by Greg Gutfeld, which is a nonfiction book, Paper Town by John Green, Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce, Eon by Allison Goodman, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The Last Little Blue Envelope by Maureen Johnson, This uh, Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, Ruska by Edward Rutherford. This is a fictionalization of the history of Russia. <clears throat> the Fiery Heart by Rochelle Mead, Phoenix by Elizabeth Richards, Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella, The Law of the Garbage Truck by David J. Poilet, Poilet? I don't know how to say that. This is like a self-help kind of book. This is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith, and London's Perfect Scoundrel by Suzanne Enoch, which is a romance novel. And we go down. Oh. Okay. We have <clears throat> The Glamorous Double Life of Isabel Bookbinder by Holly McQueen. One Night in Scotland by Karen Hawkins. If You Give a Girl a Viscount by Karen Kramer. The Princess Bride um, by William Goldman. City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Deception by C.J. Redwine. Cold Fury by T.M. Goglin, Goglin, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, Gone by Michael Grant, The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, Up from the Grave by Janine Frost, and Lord of the Night by Susan Wiggs. And more blue. Um, Bitter Blue by Kristen Cashore, Racing Savannah by Miranda Keneally, A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin, Going Rogue by Sarah Palin, Swallowing Stones by Joyce McDonald. <sighs> My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Losing Hope by Colleen Hoover. Cress by Marissa Meyer. This Girl by Colleen Hoover. Kingdom Keepers 2, Disney at Dawn by Ridley Pearson. Something Like Fate by Suzanne Colasanti. Black City by Elizabeth Richards. And now we're into the pinky ones. <clears throat> Only the Good Spy Young by Allie Carter, Stealing Parker by Miranda Keneally, and Love Cajun Style by, I don't know, Diane Le Bequois? Beckett? Something Cajun? Um, Good in Bed by Jennifer Weiner, or Wiener, Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson, So Much Closer by Suzanne Colasanti, If Wishes Were Earls by Elizabeth Boyle, the Bible of Unspeakable Truths by Greg Gutfeld, Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour by Maureen Matson, The Madness Underneath um, by Maureen Johnson, which is the second book in the Shades of London series, Then We Made as Triangle by Maureen Johnson, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, oh and books are falling, Dave Barry's History of the Millennium So Far by Dave Barry, <laughs> um, Forest Born by Shannon Hale, this is an arc, um, You Don't Need a Title to Be a Leader by Mark Sanborn, which is what it sounds like. Everyone Worth Knowing by Lauren Weisberger. These are two empty notebooks. The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson, which is the first book in the Shades of London series. Blood Red Road by Moira Young. Legend by Marie Lou. Mirror Mirror by Gregory Maguire. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Five Things I Can't Live Without by Holly Shumas, Nobody's Princess by Esther Friesner, Friesner, 
Slammed by Huntley Fitzpatrick, or by, whoa, no, Colleen Hoover. The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. A Secret in Her Kiss by Anna Randall is way back there. Iona by Alison Goodman. Um, the Diva Code. Miss Piggy on Life, <clears throat> on Life, Love, and the 10,000 Idiotic Things Frogs Do by Miss Piggy. Out of Sight, Out of Time by Allie Carter. United We Spy by Allie Carter. Never... Oh, those are not in the right order. Although I guess color-wise they are. Never mind, that's why. I forgot this is a colored bookshelf. Um, Nevermore and Angel by James Patterson. The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Crown of Midnight by Sarah J. Moss. Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister by... Gregory Maguire, The Gathering Storm by Robin Bridges, The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover, Uncommon Criminals and Perfect Scoundrels by Ellie Carter, and then the last few books are <clears throat> Immortal City by Scott Spear, The Spy Princess by Sherwood Smith, Bitten by Kelly Armstrong, Glitter Baby by Susan Elizabeth Phillips, Sexiest Vampire Alive by Carolyn Sparks, and A Bend in the Road by Nicholas Sparks. Oh, I did not do that on purpose. It just happened. So, sorry if the quality is a little bad, but no matter what time of day I film, this bookshelf is pretty crazy. And that's a lot of books. And these are just the unread books that I have in physical copy. I have a bunch of Nook books, too. So thank you for watching. Bye.